welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Friday. It's about 4.45 p.m. So the work week is just about over and it's been a very fall, like fall in the city vibe this week. It's been perfect temperatures, just like a little bit chilly sweater weather. And I have tons of cute fall things planned this weekend. So I'm really excited about it. First, starting with tonight, I am going over to my friend Liz's apartment in a bit because she is hosting a Halloween girls night where we are going to watch Halloween movies, wear comfy clothes, and we're all meant to bring over a Halloween themed charcuterie board. So mine is sweet themed, of course. Uh, it's not gonna be that much of a charcuterie board, but it's more so going to be, well, I'm, make, I'm baking right now some like pumpkin uh pumpkin what do you call them i just lost my train of thought cinnamon rolls, sorry. yes <laughs> thank you pumpkin cinnamon rolls and i also bought some halloween candy because of course you got to i've already opened up the bags but i have all the halloween candy um i've got reese's pumpkins I found these Kit Kats that are like a witch's brew one, and um, I don't know what that is. I guess it's a little witch, but they're green and purple. And of course, candy corn. You can't not have candy corn. And then I got some Twix. And I also, my dough has just risen So for the cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to continue making those, assemble my little board, and have a fun little girls night. assemble everything so I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this I have this pan that I really like or plate sorry this is from Mackenzie Child it's got the typical check and then I also have this square plate the cinnamon rolls are done the pumpkin cinnamon rolls these are the ones that I am bringing it's just a small small group and then on here I'm just going to place the candy so This is what I'm bringing over. I think it looks <laughs> very Halloween, perfect for a movie night. I highly doubt we're gonna finish all of this. There's just no way. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to hang out with the girls and watch Halloween movies. actually afternoon now at this point um last night was fun we just had like a fun girls night we watched a bunch of halloween movies and we played this game it was like where you draw something and then you, the next person has to guess what you drew and then you pass it around so it was really fun and everyone like baked something and it was all halloween and like just themed and really cute i love just like girls nights so 
yeah that was fun and then today it is raining it has been raining every single weekend in new york it's like it'll be sunny monday through friday and then saturday and sunday it rains <laughs> and this has happened before in a bunch of other years and so much so that someone actually i just saw a tiktok about it they're like it's new york's and it's saturday so it must be raining like yeah it's, it's crazy like it was beautiful beautiful yesterday and thursday and then today it's just a downpour so i was kind of looking at Lyle like what should we do today because it's raining you know it's kind of hard to like enjoy being outside when it's downpouring like this and you're just getting all wet and it's cold so we're looking at outdoor activities and we found the Morgan library it looks like a beautiful like library museum so we're just gonna go there I've thrown on this top from Cezanne this is one of their uh, classic tops that they wear that they sell every year like year and year again they always bring it back probably because it's a classic button down but I love it because the collar is very skinny and elongated it's just like a very feminine sort of version of a button down top and the fabric too is um, just kind of like light and nice and it has these buttons it's just I don't know a nice fall staple so I'm wearing that and of course my pearl necklace from Monica Vinader and my Majuri earrings. I realized that the Majuri earrings that are the gold kind of chunky hoop with the pearl really match nicely with the gold and the pearl of the Monica Vinader necklace. So yeah, I've been wearing those two together and we're just gonna go to the library, check it out and um, try to make the most of the day. now I'm actually about to leave for dinner again I threw a little cardigan on over my top because it's a little bit chilly out but I really enjoyed the Morgan it's such a beautiful museum they had this cool section obviously they had like the library sections where there's just tons of old books and it's a like amazing collection and then they had some other artwork and they had a lot of old books so there was a whole room that was on flowers botanists have you know how they used to document different types of plants and flowers and bulbs and things like that so I thought that that was really cool and then Lyle and I just had lunch at the cafe that was there it was actually pretty highly rated and it was pretty good food I got a chicken sandwich all of their food looked amazing they also do an afternoon tea so they had like three levels little tea sandwiches and scones and stuff we just did that last weekend so didn't need to do that but it was only like 40 something dollars for and you share it for between two people so that's a pretty good deal obviously you have to already like be at the museum to go to that because I think you would have to pay to get into that section um, but if you're already there then it's a great like little afternoon especially when it's raining like it was today and then after that we went to this place called Medi Petty so I actually didn't vlog this at all but it was really cool I saw it because I had seen it on TikTok and it is a medical pedicure so think of it as like everything that you wish that they did on your feet when you got a pedicure like if you have calluses or <clears throat> just anything else they spend like an hour on your feet just buffing them and like buffing your whole foot and the the your nails and just getting them perfect so uh, yeah she did that and um 
the place I went was called Medi Petty, and um, she was. I actually was with, I believe, the owner, and she was just so nice, um, and I really enjoyed talking to her. So, highly, highly recommend them. Um, yeah, and then I just came back. I just threw in a little cardigan and um, some pants because it's kind of chilly out. So yeah, I'm going to go meet up with my friend Liz, the one who was with, I was with last night. She and I haven't hung out in a while, so we're going to go get dinner together. We're going to a place called Rosie's, which is a Mexican restaurant, so I'm excited to have some probably like guac and uh, things like that. <laughs> It is Sunday morning now, so last night was really fun. I met up with my friend Liz. We went to Rosie's, a Mexican restaurant, and we had, well, we shared guac and, and chips and salsa, and then I got this quesadilla that was like with squash, and she got some tacos, and it was really nice. It was nice to catch up. Um, we used to be roommates in Brooklyn, and then uh, she ended up moving back home, and then I, I stayed in the city, and then um, she actually now lives back in the city and she lives not too far from me So that's really cool to have like a friend close by and it had actually been a while since we had just hung out Just the two of us so we got to really talk and catch up and it's just always so nice um, but this morning I Am about to leave. I just uh, was doing my makeup and I threw this top on so this morning what we are doing is we are going on a walk, um, doing a breast cancer walk, and um, yeah, we like donated and did a, joined a, a team, so we're just going to do a walk in Central Park, and there should be a bunch of other groups doing the same. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're all, I think, we're talking about, it was supposed to originally rain, so we were all going to get pink ponchos. We were also trying to get t-shirts made, but we couldn't get them made in time, um, so we're all, I think going with pink is always a good choice for something like this because obviously pink uh, represents breast cancer awareness. So I have lots of pink things in my closet, so I'm just going to throw on a pink jacket because it is a little cold outside. Um, but I'm basically uh, layering this morning because it is a little bit chilly. So I'm wearing one of those tops uh, from Intimissimi, <laughs> it's always hard to pronounce, Intimissimi. It's called the Ultralight with Cashmere, and it's ultralight. Like, this is super, super thin, but it keeps you warm. It's like a base layer, or like a thermal top. Um, so I'm actually gonna wear a top on top of this top, and uh, it's just a turtleneck that I've had forever that's nice and, and warm and cozy. But I can pair this underneath it, and it makes it so easy. <laughs> so uh, this is how you know that it's clearly winter. Or fall. Great. I put on an, an, on any lipstick yet? I'm doing very light makeup this morning because my face has felt a little bit dry uh, recently. So I just am like a little bit red once I got out of the shower this morning. So I just put some very light makeup on it because I just don't want to cake my face. But I didn't put lipstick on yet. So I've been using all week this. YSL lipstick. This is the shade 44. And I really like it because it's like a nice daytime pink and it really moisturizes your lips. And then <laughs> I also did put this on this morning because I was like, I was going to use my hairspray. So this is like my hairspray. But hairspray really dries out your hair. And so this morning I just blow dried my hair with the Dyson. And then I used this, the Dyson round brush too. And then I just put my one little extension, clip-in extension in, threw my hair back in a low ponytail because we're just going to be outside. Hair's going to be blowing around in the wind. And normally in this case I would use hairspray just to keep it down, but um, I use this one instead and I love it because it's like hydrating my hair rather than drying it out. It's moisturizing it. I don't know. It's just overall better. And um, I felt like I didn't need to straighten it or anything. So yeah, I love this product. I shared it in my last vlog. And some of you guys, I know, um, liked it too. So yeah, that's what I'm using this morning. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to finish getting ready, throw my jacket on, and head out the door.
right, so the walk was great. It was actually so nice and so much fun. And now I've made my way to Brooklyn and I'm about to take a cake decorating class. I'm doing it with my friend Melina. We're meeting up it's at this place called Kitsby. So it should be, should be right around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, Melina came up, found the class and I thought that is so cool because I've actually been really curious about cake decorating lately so hopefully it'll be really fun. and the cake decorating class was so good. It was really fun. It, I will say it's not the type of class if you want to learn how to make like professionally cake decorate. It's more so just a fun class where you can just like, if you know, like just make a fun cake and just have fun with it with the people that you're with. Um, but yeah, and now um, it's in Brooklyn, so it's a little bit, far out there. I mean, it's in Williamsburg, so it's not that far, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, uh, they kind of just let you make whatever decoration that you want to. You can practice a couple of things and then you can do like different colors and frosting tips, <laughs> whatever they're called. And this is the cake that I made. I went for more of a vintage vibe. It's called a lunchbox cake because it's <laughs> in this cute little thing. I feel like I don't know anybody whose like birthday it is right now that I can think of at least off the top of my head or any like reason that I would make a cake for somebody right now. But you know, you could obviously like make someone a cute little cake, write something on it and like give it to them as a gift. I feel like that would be really cute or even just taking the class together. I feel like would be really cute. But yes, I loved that and it was so fun catching up with my friend. Yeah, and the walk was of course really nice also. So yeah, I came back. It's dark out now, so I've like covered all of the windows because I'm like, I just don't like to feel like I'm in a fishbowl like with all the windows at night. Because like in New York, there's so many people on the streets that I'm kind of like, hi. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna Whole Foods. I'm gonna do a quick haul. So this was partially getting ready, like my groceries ready for the work week since today is Sunday. So back to work tomorrow morning and um, partially just for dinner tonight. So first thing I got was in here. I always get these pull in spring waters, which I know isn't the greatest thing for, you know, because of the plastic, but um, I don't really trust the New York City water. I know it's supposed to be good water and everything, but I just, I don't believe that. <laughs> so I always grew up drinking pull in spring. Um, so that's what I get. Actually, I grew up drinking like mountain water because in New Hampshire, the water like comes down the natural springs and we would fill up um, like a, a jug <laughs> uh, for like a water bubbler and, and bring that home and that was like the most crisp, perfect natural water. But this is my, you know, alternative living in the city. I got some croutons because I never buy croutons, but when I'm making my salad sometimes I'm like, oh, I just wish I had a little like bready crunch in there because I just love croutons so so I got them for this week you know I don't normally do that but I did uh, I also got some whole wheat wraps because I pretty much like everything that I buy for my salads I can also put in a wrap so if I'm feeling like I want that like wrapped um you know if I'm like extra hungry that day then uh yeah then I have those and they last a while in the fridge so nice thing to have if you're feeling that I got some fresh parsley 
for dinner tonight. I'm going to make, right after this, a recipe that I just found on Pinterest. It's uh, some scallops in like a spaghetti. Some radishes for salad this week. Two avocados, one that's ripe now and one that will be ripe in a couple days. For salads this week, I got two Granny Smith apples. This will just be for like a snack in the middle of the work day. So I got those. I got a selection of berries for breakfast. I got that alongside some yogurt. So that'll just be my breakfast taken care of for the whole week. I'll just have yogurt and berries each morning. And I got some garlic hummus because sometimes when I have, I'm having the wraps, it's nice to spread some hummus on there and it keeps the wrap together too. And it tastes good and adds a little protein. So that's always nice. I got a red bell pepper because when I, you are eating things in a wrap, it's nice to have veggies that are crunchy because it just adds a little snap <laughs> when you're biting it. I can't, you know, it's not so great if your whole salad is soft because then it's like mushy. You need to balance it out with some crunch. Speaking of, I got some carrots. These are always good for something like a wrap. Uh, cucumber, I eat cucumber every single week. These are the scallops for dinner tonight. I'm gonna put those on the side. I got a rotisserie chicken because this is what I'm just going to put in my salads for the chicken. I really don't enjoy cooking meat. So when I can just buy meat that's already cooked and then I can just break some off, put it in my salads or my wrap, then, you know, job done and <laughs> makes life a lot easier. I got some tomatoes on the vine for salads and lemon that I use for salad dressing. I really just do a squeeze of lemon, a little bit of olive oil and some balsamic and then some like fresh herbs if I have them. Uh, this is my salad lettuce for the week. I'm always trying a different salad lettuce each week. This week it's the Little Leaf Farms Baby Crisp Green Leaf. Uh, so hopefully it'll be good. <laughs> and then the last two things are heavy whipping cream. I only need to put a tiny bit of that into this pasta dish and some organic spaghetti. So I'm going to put these groceries away and get going on making some yummy dinner. <laughs> couch as always with my dinner. I'm going to watch Grey's Anatomy because I don't know I started watching it. I never used to watch it when it was actually on TV back in the day. I'm on the second season or yeah second season and I know it's like there's a lot of seasons. Lyle left like two hours ago uh, for work. He had to fly out so I'm here by myself and I miss him already. But yeah but I'm enjoying my pasta and I'm going to watch some TV. Okay, I'm back. Dinner was delicious, but I couldn't eat that much of it because it was actually really rich. And I feel like kind of silly because Lyle and I just made scallops recently and I went through the same exact thing. So I feel kind of silly that I made them like twice in a row like that, but they are delicious. Um, but yeah, I just ate a little bit. And... Um, they were very good. I feel like that recipe, you can't even have it as your entire main meal. It's got to be like the tiniest portion as an appetizer or something because it just tastes so rich. So yeah, I couldn't do it, but uh, it was good nonetheless. I'll leave the, the recipe in case um, you guys want to um, make it. But yeah, so I just had my dinner and I'm just here alone and I'm like, I'm like so sad because I'm just... I don't know, because Lyle's going to be gone for a while this time, and um, I don't know, I was never like this when I, well, I was a little bit like this when I lived alone, but I think since we, I didn't see him every day, I was more used to it. 
versus living together and seeing him all the time. But anyways, I am rambling now. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it is the end of the vlog. It's been a really nice weekend. I feel like I actually really did a lot this weekend with the walk and the cake decorating class and the library museum and the f foot like pedicure thing and all of that really and and seeing my friends in the halloween party um it was just a lot um and happy and i'm a little bit afraid that this vlog is short when i felt like my weekend was so long i think sometimes i've been struggling a lot balancing with vlogging my life but then also not vlogging too much because when I'm alone obviously it's easy to vlog because I love vlogging but the more time that I spend with my friends the less <laughs> that I can vlog because not everybody wants to be on camera and not everybody wants to be vlogged and um I have you know we have I have to respect that so I think this weekend was a lot of wholesome time with friends and I think I, you know, it's just, I think about finding the right balance. So yeah, that's what this weekend was. And um, I'm excited for more fall weekends to come and more fall in the city to share with you. Sorry, I really feel like I'm rambling today, but sometimes I feel like when I'm vlogging, it's it's a video log. It's, um, it's like a video diary to me. And I just feel like sometimes just talking to you guys, I feel like open with you guys and like we're friends <laughs> so yeah anyways i'm going to end the vlog i'm gonna stop myself and um i'm going to edit it i'm probably going to be up pretty late editing because it's nine o'clock right now and this is needs to go live tomorrow and it generally generally takes me like four or five hours to edit and then a whole other hour and a half to upload two hours if you count exporting so yeah definitely please subscribe for the effort if you haven't subscribed yet and um yeah hopefully i'll see you guys next time okay bye